Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we used our budget binder this weekend. Uh, we went grocery shopping and had to get some pet food on Sunday. And I kinda wanna show you guys how we did and how it went. <laughs> so let's get into this. All right, so let's see, I got my receipt right here. So we went to Walmart and we actually spent $71.99 and we ran into some issues. So our dog food went from $24.95 to $27.78, and the cat food is now $16.48, and we also got two dog bones, which was $3.94. Those used to be $1.99. Oh my gosh, and our pet food used to be like 14, so everything is going up. So we ran into some issues, so. Um, what happened was, so we had $63 for uh, food, and we also had, you can see here, we budgeted the $25 for the dog food. So <laughs> what happened was we took the dog food money, and I'll show you, it's empty now. So we took the $25 that we had from dog food plus the $63 from grocery, we didn't really need a lot of groceries, so we spent that money um, on the bones and the cat food for this time, and we had $13 and one penny left. You can see it's right here, and there's my penny in there. So, oh my gosh. <clears throat> so with everything going up, you can see in our receipt, we're going to have to do a little better budgeting. I thought for sure that... Um, $63 would have been fine for groceries, except for the fact that we added the cat food and the two bones that uh, we could have waited until last time, but um, we got a lot of stuff going on this week and we didn't want to make, we wanted to make sure that we got the things that we needed in case we forgot and didn't get back to Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, you can see that um, so in here we have the 1301 and pets is at zero, car is eight, and emergency. Now emergency has $63 and I didn't think, and I'm not justifying taking any money out of emergency to pay for um, inflation or anything like that. And the vacation, um, <clears throat> vacation money, uh, we're not taken out of that either. So what I wanted, so I got some more of these, um, sleeves and another binder. So what I want to do is I want to put the things that, um, we're going to get at the grocery store, like hair products and shampoos and, you know, toilet paper and stuff like that for the house and groceries um, in a separate binder um, along with like the dog food, um, maybe like oil changes and stuff so that I, that'll be like a separate thing that I can take to the grocery store. I don't really want to take this, this big binder. I mean, it's not huge. But it did work. Um, I just don't want to take things that I'm not necessarily going to be using money out of. I don't know if that makes sense. So I kind of want to tailor it to when I go to the grocery store. So I found a really thin um, kind of grocery or something that you could take with you to the grocery store that's really sleek and not bulky and nobody would know it almost looks like a um like a case for your glasses it's it's really um sh kind of stout and thin so whenever that comes <laughs> i'll be able to um show you guys and set it up so that it will tailor um our groceries and like our home stuff and our pet stuff so uh so this was a good trial run to kind of see where I'm lacking and because guys this is all new to me so uh, this is my first time using using the budget binder 
um, at the grocery store, and I thought I did pretty good. I mean, we still have 1301 left, and so I know where I need to kind of beef up a little bit because the prices are a little bit higher in the pet section. Um, so, all right, guys, so that's how I did. I mean, not too shabby. Um, <laughs> the pet I, is rising prices, guys. Yeah, remember to kind of pad a little extra, and um, we did pretty good. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to kind of see where we're at and how it went. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.